Hello YouTube, I am back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how I did this quick section. I did it in about 45 minutes because I needed it for a presentation and then after I finished, my instructor came and said Oh, haven't you heard? The presentation was cancelled. Well, that's architecture for you. Anyway, it's a quick section so there might be mistakes, there might be things that I needed to do but I just wanted to show you how to get your section into a presentable state very quickly. But guys, we are over 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I am really so, so grateful to every single one of you. And especially those that comment those wonderful comments and share your tips to me. It's just very thoughtful. And I have never imagined that I would hit 1,000 so soon. And I have you guys to thank. And I honestly, <laughs> I don't feel like I'm working on YouTube. I feel like I'm just talking to my friends and my family and just being on this journey together. So I'm doing something, but I just want to make sure that I am doing it legally before I actually do it. So stay tuned for that. And now let's get on with the video. So I've done this in AutoCAD and pulled up the PDF to Photoshop. And the first thing that I did was the ground. So just select it with the rectangle tool and then subtract these areas using the quick selection on your section layer. And then I filled it with gray just so I can select it easier later and just add some texture. I redid the ground line with a thicker square brush. And then here I'm just selecting the walls, fill them with just a basic a gray color. And then here I'm just doing the layers because one of my wonderful watchers, ugh, I hate that word, I mean, <clears throat> wonderful friend suggested that I start doing my layers and showed me a nice trick. So I will link down the video where he commented because it's a really good uh, comment and I think it might benefit a lot of you. So here's me trying to name my layers and then I filled the further walls with a lighter gray and here because it's an angled wall so I did that with a gradient fill. And here I realized that I had a line weight so I just fixed that problem and then added uh, the northern light background because my location is in Sweden and the northern light was an important concept to my, z my design. So I put that in the background and then just select the empty spaces from your section using the quick selection and then add the clipping mask to the background. And then from here I just fixed some levels and added texture to the ground and then another layer on top with just some shadow and darkness. And then I, here I realized I had other walls to fill with, so I filled them with also light um, gray. I'm just doing the shadow. Now, if you're doing this in like a night view, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily have this shadow because you don't really have sunlight. But you can always say it's just the surrounding light created this shadow in the interior. And I mean, and I couldn't not do it because if I didn't, the section would look really basic and I needed something to just spice it up. So I'm just doing the shadows using the polygonal lasso tool and just adjusting the opacity. And here because there's no light coming through here so I've just done a little bit of shadow, I'm not sure if that's correct. Uh, and I've just done that with a square brush. And here I have added the grunge texture to the clipping mask and just deleted some of the edges just to make it really soft and a little bit more shadow to make it look really nice and contrasted. So here I'm doing the light ray and it's kind of optional, I mean you don't have to do it and, and I don't think it made a huge difference but I always like to go the extra mile. So it's just basically two layers painted with white and then a Gaussian blur and then another one of those uh, white layers on top with a, le a little bit less Gaussian blur. So here I have also a skylight so I've done that. Uh, and also my concept was kind of to reflect the northern light into the interior So I've used water and on top of it some lights so that when you reflects you have this colorful Ripple effect that kind of looks like the northern light 
And this is actually a concept house for Tracy Emin. And if you don't know Tracy Emin, she's a famous artist in the UK. And if you want to see like the full project or the full process with drawings, I'd be happy to show you because I really like the project. And here I've just added some green trees and the people using the brushes from Show It Better. They're amazing. They're very useful, so download them right away. And they're very helpful. So I do have a short ceiling, that's why my females, which is Tracy, might look kind of squashed. And here I've just added my section, section AA, and the scale. Anyway, uh, I hope you liked this video. It's a quick one, but I really liked how it turned out and I wanted to show you guys. So I'm Rasha Shururu and I will see you next time.